Today, eight months into the war, hostage families demanding the return of their loved ones out front of the Secretary of State's hotel in Tel Aviv. America's top diplomat telling them... I'm working every minute to, to bring everyone home. He met privately with the families of the American hostages. I spoke exclusively with several, including the mother of Itay Chen, who's been told her son was killed, but says she won't believe it until Hamas returns his body. We didn't have a burial. We did not bury him. We don't have a grave. We did not see the Shiva. For me, Itay is still alive. It comes after that dramatic rescue mission, Israeli forces freeing four hostages, three of them held by Hamas in this home. Aviva Siegel, who herself was kidnapped on October 7th with her husband Keith. She was later released, but she's scared that that military operation may make it harder for Keith and the other hostages still being held by Hamas. They're going to hide them, that they're going to be nervous and take it all out on the hostages. Late today, Hamas responded to the Israeli ceasefire offer. The White House says it's still evaluating what they said. Secretary Blinken has demanded the leader of Hamas accept the deal. Are they looking after one guy who may be, for now, safe, buried, I don't know, 10 stories underground somewhere in Gaza, while the people that he purports to represent continue to suffer in a crossfire of his own making? It comes after the Wall Street Journal obtained messages from that Hamas leader, Yahya Sinwar, saying he believes more Palestinian deaths work to his advantage, calling civilian deaths necessary sacrifices. Tonight, the White House's John Kirby. It should surprise and shock no one um, that a beast like Mr. Sinwar w would actually take glee in it. And tomorrow, the secretary's final Middle East stop in Qatar, the key negotiator with Hamas to assess next steps. Lester. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.